I'm gonna try to. What? I like your sand. Hmm? If you feel the plane, you plan to feel. All right, Brandon, you wanna come look at a rundown of what I see here so we can get started on the wiring harness? Yeah. So, basically, I just drew up a map in Field Tech, and then we're using a 550 because we've got one. Because we got it, yeah. Um, I want to be able to put a 450 in here eventually. So I took everything off of the B plug. Yep. So we're just using the A plug. It looks like it's about 15 wires. So I want to start with counting all my like blue outputs, gray outputs, um, white inputs. Just put long wires on those. Then I want to do my two wires for can because we're going to have nano. a nano. Yeah. And then I want to be able to you know, we can plug in a switch panel and stuff like that down the road. That makes sense. And then the that. grounds separate, there's one, it looks like A12 to the battery and A7 to the battery, right? Yep. So we've got ground and power ground, both those go separate to the battery. Yep. Keep them as their own wires the whole way. This is so, awesome. Pretty straightforward. And then I'm working on fuel lines and that kind of stuff and see if we can't get the fuel system done today as well so if we got the fuel system and the electrical going and our injector shows up then we're really getting close and we've only got a couple days left and that's exactly that's where I, why we're coming out with the harness yep that's exactly where because these little water lines the They're squirters and stuff away. yeah we don't uh, need that trying to figure out length, you know, yeah <laughs> oh guys yeah so this is freaking exciting as you guys can tell, I'm over over the moon, just jazzed up, and uh, I'm pushing. I'm excited. Right, so I think we're also going to just use a pair of K coils because we have a whole bunch of them laying around. They're only three wires, so super easy to wire, and we may just put a couple, we may just add these plug wires that we have to those, and we can just mount those like further up with like the fuel pressure regulator and see how that works. It's all stuff we got laying around, and I think that's part of the fun with this is just, you know, as Jamie said in the last video, you know, we don't have any money in it, and uh, it makes it a lot more fun, at least to me. So I'm going to keep pushing on this thing. All right, before I can weld on the tank, I had Aaron fill this baby with some water. Um, I've heard way too many stories and seen way too much stuff in my life to not just, um, you know, run some water through the tank first. And then I can weld on it and I don't gotta worry about things going boom. It is a cute little tank, that's for sure. Okay, Aaron got the fuel tank cleared out and uh, we're kind of looking inside there. So you can see. There it is. Yeah, so it's kind of hard to see, but. Uh, find it. Okay. All right, you can see where that thing would pick up the fuel and come out right there. But we're thinking we're gonna make this the return line and flip it over real quick. And the old drain, I think I'm gonna drill and tap and just put a 90 degree fitting on there that's 1 8 and that could be our feed. I think that'd be perfect. So I think we'll try that since the um, that return would be dumping right into this little basket. And you can see it's a little lower, so fuel will want to sit in that spot. So uh, we're gonna try that. That's what we're going with right now. Yeah, buddy. I'll drill and tap this bolt, and uh, we should be good to go. Honestly, we should see if a... What thread pattern that is. And... Yeah, because it could be a factory um, fuel feed, like off a filter on an EG, mm -hmm. which already has the hole that in it. That would be even, even better. Let's look at that. And we may see if the, the banjo bolt from an EG would just go on here, and then it'd just be a couple crush washers. That would be simple. All right, guys. So I put out the video from yesterday building the intake manifold. I just had a fan comment and he just taught me something. So as he understood it, both cylinders move together. So I may pull the valve cover again and look at what the cans are doing, but I did put a couple welding rods in the spark plug holes and turned it down and the pistons do move at the same time. Hesitating on the harness for a second. Yeah, because we may... only need one coil output. Yeah. And then we'll just pair. I'm thinking that's what's up. We'll too. just literally separate it out. Yeah. 
I'm thinking that as well. I mean, I like the sounds of that. That'll make life way easy. I never even thought about it being that way. Yeah, so exactly. I'm going to pull the valve cover, see what the cam says. That's, that's the power of YouTube right there is you guys jump in, get involved with me and help sort this stuff out. Cause no one's ever done this. No one's ever talked about it. You just throw a carburetor on them and use the points or CDI stuff that's out for them and you let it rip. But this is cool. So let's figure it out. <laughs> the dog and the cat are chasing him around. Get him! Did you like how he took off running? Yeah. Did you yeah, see that? No ah! Don't get me wet! Again. Off. So we got this cool little bung. We're gonna go ahead and drill the tank, place that here, and then we got a factory fuel line from like a Prelude and uh, the banjo bolt. We'll just put it on here like this. It'll be kind of low profile. Should work out good. So get that baby welded and uh, we'll knock this out. All right, guys, we've got our sloppy wiring diagrams here. We'll clean that up once we're done. But we've got our fuel tech plug. We've got our nano. This is gonna be our sub harness that stays inside of the car. And then this is gonna be our harness going into the engine bay. So we'll have to terminate everything there and we'll have to terminate everything on this end. But here in the middle, we're good. So this will get loomed to the point of where it goes through the firewall. And this we can just loom, you know, once we figure out the length. So this wasn't too bad, actually. Put this back on. Put a bolt in this one. Put the cap in this one. Blow some air in there with some soapy water down there and just see if it does anything. No one know. There's a dead fly. That'd be the easy way to do it. Oh, and tap that, of course. But then we don't gotta worry about leaks. Should be okay. I think we got it. I do too, but... I just hate going backwards. When you can just take one step to go forward. Or two steps. Yeah. All right, guys, Jamie has got this all loomed up with all that. Oh, dude, it looks so cool. It should match the 70s feel, huh? Yeah. I dig that. Um, how long do you think it's going to be inside the car so I can loom inside the car? Not very long. I mean, you could look behind the steering wheel. Well, I don't know if my head's going to fit behind the steering wheel, bro. I'm, I'm all big for that thing. No, you're not. I think he's got more room than you know what to do with. V Dog drove this thing around all the time. Well, there's no crawling under the dash. The dash is right there. So, where are you wanting to put the ECU in the wide van? Probably right in here somewhere. Like a, <laughs> unless you know somewhere cool. I mean, I guess it could be off the side of that shifter, but like, I don't, where's cool? Okay. So, I just wanted to leave yeah. like the inside part of it. Yeah, to make it look all the nice. Outside once we get it out. This is awesome. Yeah, so what I'm doing is I'm setting it up as two cylinders. It's two one cylinder inverted. And then on the RPM signal, we've got hall 48 minus two, no cam signal, ignition, wasted spark, individual coils. 
fuel injection semi sequential one injector. Mm -hmm. Two cylinders with one injector with two coils. Worst case scenario, we tell it it's a four cylinder yeah. and we run it semi sequential. Yep. Or we run it wasted spark. Yep. That should so do it. It's just one and four. But I think this I think this way will work. Okay. And it'll work either way with how I wired it. We got your injector piece. Hey, that's the piece we need right there. This guy just welds onto a pipe. You put your injector in here. Well fitting in top with your line to it. Simple enough. Pretty simple. Looks like some different height spacers and bolts. Yeah, that looks great. All right, let's get this thing together. Woo. All right, so we used a K-series injector that was laying around, and uh, we're kind of just gonna mark this where it needs to go. Looks like kind of just towards the bottom there. Or I could weld it to this and it could be half and half, whatever, whatever we're thinking. Put it right behind that weld's fine. You should have hood clearance, right? Is yeah, that a sure. 90? We have a 90. I do have a 90 fitting for that. Yep. Do you know what thread that is? That's bigger than I thought. Yeah. You were thinking it was like eighth inch to death. Eighth yeah, inch I thought to it'd be eighth three. inch, yeah. That looks quarter. Yeah. As long as we have a 90 there, I think we're plenty good on hood clearance. This is awesome. This is awesome. on everything's all welded up james got the throttle body back on it's starting to look good i kind of want to lay the harness down behind here oh coils i need you to figure out where the coils are going to go i was thinking up here to you and then use the plug wires like we do on our little rig Bye. yep that's love <laughs> got you guys yeah. all right guys We've been hard at the 600, uh, but John Jacobs just stopped by with the Mustang, got some new turbos, and uh, we're about to make some jam. So, probably have a little break here from the 600. We're getting her. It's okay. We can yeah. take a break. We've made a lot All of progress. Our are doing this from the wire. But things are looking really good. I'm, 
I'm really stoked. I mean, there's the little wiring harness. Yeah, so it's all, all good. come back like this, and then this will get, I just have to do the injector and this cylinder head ground, loom that, and then this is our coils. I've already got our grounds over here to the battery, so we're almost Dang. done out here. I love it. So, give it this. It is freaking awesome. Right now I'm working on a fuel filter. Yep. Found one from a CRX out back. There you go. So I'm tying that up and then make the feed, feed line. We got the return, so. Oh, you already did the return? The return, we're using the old feed. So that one was easy. <laughs> yeah, so we'll have John's on the dyno in just a second. Get ready, because we're going to make some serious power. Let's go. Got the new HPT turbos. We're going to test those out today see how they do I'm pretty excited about that you guys have seen this on the channel multiple times when we built all the turbo manifolds and all that stuff and exhaust systems it's looking good oh this is awesome I think she's gonna roll just fine. Yeah. I guess you could have sauced it while you did that. Yeah, something like that. See, everything's wired except the coils on the ground. And see, your your trigger is under here. Your injector runs up from here. You got a ground. You got your TPS. It's just we're putting new cover sheets on all the TPS reports before they go out now. So if you could go ahead and try to remember to do that from now on, that'd be great. All right. So we don't really need those to make it run. We're on a 4th of July time current. Yeah. It's like the 5th of July. We're late. It's not 5th yet. I, know. I mean, not too bad for the first time on a wiring harness. It looks no. all right. No, nope. it'll work great. Yeah. The intake is sweet. I <laughs> Dude, it's cool, huh? <laughs> <laughs> huh? <laughs> the Robo Peter, that's what they call it now. That's what they're calling it. Thanks. They're Cicinero calling it Speedworks. Yeah, Cisnero Speedworks. They call it the Robo Peter. <laughs> Thanks, Tommy. Yeah, but we learned today from a commenter. Thank you, commenter. That it's like firing cylinders one and four instead of firing cylinders one and two. Both pistons so come up at the same time. Up, but the cams are off. The cams are one eighty out from each other, so. This cap? We learned some stuff. Yeah, you see the arrow on it? We're missing a thing, though. That's the rubber that. seal? Is that that? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I was like, yeah, this you just gotta ask will goose. not tighten down. But do you see when you put it on, the arrow has to go to the arrow. And it's, it's, like an extra, cool. it's like an extra insurance that your head bolt won't come out. And see how I'm going to make a little intake like a Civic? A little, oh, yeah. little filter right there? <laughs> Is that a trailer spindle cap? No, no, it's a fence post cap. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Legit, I like it. If somebody's gonna go to grease their bearings and be mad, <laughs> I'll put my cap back on. But it's for no, it's now, yeah. Anyway. Now someone's gonna try to grab the top of the fence and cut their hands. The neighbors are missing a fence post. <laughs> I got that 10-pound tune loaded if you're feeling froggy. I'm feeling froggy. You want me to drive or you want to drive? Okay. I never mind. I love the violence. Yeah, I'm gonna grab my headphones and get all jacked up, and ready. 7880s, that's what they are? They are sweet. Oh, I'm excited for this. Oh, this is awesome. All right, first pull, we're gonna do it at 10 pounds. It's cold. Okay, 9,000. 9,000 RPM, he told me to turn it. <laughs> you guys ready for that? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh,
16 on the boost, and then it fell to so it 13. Overshot and then pulled it down, and then it started climbing back up. Yeah. It came back to 16. An RPM, you went to 8808 ish. I told you almost 89. Nothing. You're right there. Okay. 8833. <laughs> 8833. And it was like 14 pounds at the end. So okay. It come back down. Okay. So it was hunting. So this, this looks just like the hmm. boost. So. But <clears throat> new turbos, so things have changed a little bit. That's pretty good power though for, for not a lot of boost. Yeah, I think someone else just needs one of these. <laughs> we found one. So I just welded these new flanges on the other day and they actually look pretty darn good. They, I didn't get to see them. You know, we didn't have the car to fit them. You just kind of measured it out. And, yep, they fit 200 thousandths off and burn them on and they fit perfect. Yeah, they turned out really nice. Turned out exactly right. That's cool. Man, it looks good. Wave ladder. 1343. Wave ladder. Singing. Yeah, that thing is still singing. 23 pounds. Come check this out, John. Still spinning? Look how fast that one is still spinning. This one's up already? Yeah. Hey, J J Jamie I just spun that one up. But this one, like... It doesn't even look like it's ready to stop. The 68s are always dead heat. Remember the party trick it did where you could like press press right wing Oh yeah, yeah. Inside and spin? That was a good party trick. Probably, probably the same, but that thing is maybe starting to slow down. It did too. All right, we put 10 more pounds of dome pressure, so we got 30 pounds of dome pressure in it right now. Let's see how she does. And it fell to 1,300. It fell and held really good at 1,600. 1,600 and stayed there. Man, it was on a mission, wasn't it? Yeah. Woo wee. Wherever that overshoot is, let's have all that all the time. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so you guys can kind of see what we're thinking here. Uh, bolt of this down, we'll have a little return line. Uh, this one will feed the injector. This one will come from the fuel tank, and uh, that's it. That's our that's our sweet fuel system. Yep. I've just got the coils that I'm wiring right now. You were wanting to mount those like here. Yep. That's kind of what you were thinking. Yep. So. And we'll just run the spark plug wires right off of those. Yep. Just one here, one here. So I'm pretty darn close. I've just got coils left out here. Yeah. It's and then close. we've got relays inside. Get those relays wired and. We'll be uh, game on. Yeah. But let's go make 2,000 horsepower real quick. But followed the same path. So we do got converter issues. Huh? That's what it seems like. We'll pull the log and look at it. Yep. Okay. So it gained a touch more here in the middle, but for what we put in it, I don't think it gained what it should have. Yeah. So by the end, we were at the same. Yeah, we're pretty much the same. I know it was a touch richer because we added the other pump, but I don't think it was enough to kill it that bad. 
Yeah. And with the, so the curve is following the converter pressure 100% too. Back up. Yeah. So, wonder if we just need stiffer gates in it. Get some exhaust pressure with the RPM. Just can't keep them closed. Even though it shows the boost. Let's pull the log. In the back seat of your car. All right, so we got the fuel stuff here mounted. We've got the coils mounted. It's looking like we're gonna do something. I'm digging it. It was a fun little day of wiring and yeah. making stuff and welding stuff. This turned out super cool. I like all that. Yeah, this is great. Tomorrow we get the fuel pump, so I'm gonna run through the fuel system. Um, I gotta do some relaying. A little bit of stuff and this thing will be ready to rock so we're right there i am super excited about this game on game on Exciting. it is pretty cool mm -hmm. also guys remember august 10th get your tickets so in the description we've got a link to pre-purchase your tickets if you pre-purchase your tickets you get an event shirt with it josh did a killer job on that thanks josh so those things are sweet they have all the sponsors on it and everything and we thank all the sponsors if you guys pre-register, you can also camp at the track on Friday night. You can stay on the stay at the track Friday night. There is a test and tune going on Friday. So if you're pre-registered Saturday, you can come in, check out the check out the test and tune on Friday. And if you want to test your car, it's only 35 bucks for a tech card on Friday. And that's all you have to pay. You don't have to pay spectator fees. You don't have to pay to camp or anything. So grab which, a which is awesome because yeah. we're gonna be out there Friday night. We're gonna be setting up Saturday morning. So Hopefully seeing you guys out there will be epic. What's that? Hopefully testing the Freedom Center probably. Yeah. Hopefully that, testing. Yeah, that's it. get this done. We've got all the parts. So you got to get your yep. hot rods together. Yeah. I'm going to get all my hot rods together after the after this hot rod. So we're getting close, guys. So that's going to do it for tonight. We've, we made a lot of good progress, and I'm pretty stoked. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow, and have a good night.